Hello guys, welcome back to Concept Soup. Um, yeah, so today uh, we're not doing a PC build, if you can believe such a thing. We're talking about um, an audio device. So if you use a dynamic microphone like I do here with this Shure SM58, you might find that it's quite difficult to actually get the required volume out of it in order to get a good audio signal. So let's just talk about the quick a you know, quick five second recap of the audio setup that I use because it's not very complicated. So I've got the Shure SM58 here and then that runs off obviously an XLR cable, goes straight into my Focusrite Scarlett 8i6, which is a USB interface which goes into the PC. Hey presto, you're done, right? So in order to get something that was quite close to being loud enough, what I had to do was turn the gain all the way up on the, on the Scarlett, um, which is fine. It did work, it did the job but it did introduce a little bit of noise um, and still was a little bit lower on the sort of the threshold that like I was having to crank all the sliders up to max just to get it within that sort of ideal audio range, you know, where you're hitting the yellow bars on, on OBS. So I thought, what can we do about this? And actually, it was my uncle that told me about this device because I had no idea it existed. I was about to buy basically one of these cloud lifters um, and I was like, blimey heck, that's quite expensive. They're like 140 odd quid. Um, but then my uncle said, oh, you should try this Clark Technic uh, mic booster. I was like, oh, I haven't heard of that. So I actually looked it up. I think I got it from Tom Ann or something. Um, and it was like 30 odd quid or something. Um, I thought, well, let's give it a go. And if it's no good, then I'll return it. Um, and actually, spoilers ahead, it worked quite well. Um, it's not going to you know, set the world on fire or anything, but it, it is a device that is functional and does work. So we're going to play some clips in a moment where you can compare, you know, when I had the dials maxed all the way up versus backing those dials up but having the mic booster in. You'll be able to tell for yourself which one sounds a little bit cleaner. Um, and with a bit of further refinement, I'm sure I'll be able to get this to sound a little bit better. But I'm literally doing this on the fly as we go. So what's in the box with the uh, Clark Technics? I think it's called the CT1 mic booster. So basically, it's a box. It's got the mic booster in it and a tiny little instruction manual. It's very, very easy to use. It actually just plugs straight into the microphone itself. So you plug the mic booster into the microphone and then you put your XLR a cable into the mic booster and you're done. Um, you do need um, phantom power for this though. So you can't run this passively. So you need to make sure whichever audio interface you're using does have phantom power. Um, otherwise it's just you know, it's not going to get any signal at all. So that is one thing to consider. But it's so, so easy to use. Um, and you don't have to run a cable between them. It just clips straight into the microphone. So I was quite impressed with how easy to use it was. It was up and up and running in 10 seconds. So let's play those audio clips now so that you can hear the difference for yourself. This is a test at close range for the Shure SM58 and Focusrite Scarlett with no mic booster attached. This is a test at close range for the Shure SM58 and Focusrite Scarlett with the mic booster attached. This is a test at medium range for the Shure SM58 and Focusrite Scarlett with no mic booster attached. This is a test at medium range for the Shure SM58 and Focusrite Scarlett with a mic booster attached. This is a test at close range for the Shure SM58 and Focusrite Scarlett with no mic booster attached. This is a test at close range for the Shure SM58 and Focusrite Scarlett with the mic booster attached. This is a test at medium range for the Shure SM58 and Focusrite Scarlett with no mic booster attached. This is a test at medium range for the Shure SM58 and Focusrite Scarlett with a mic booster attached. So I'm no audiophile, but I did notice that I'm hitting those volume ranges a lot easier when I've got the mic booster in. You know, FYI, I'm using the mic booster to record this video now. Um, and it does, it works really well. It's very clean. I didn't hear any, you know, additional noise or anything. It will pick up a bit more noise just for the fact that it's a mic booster. It's going to boost whatever it hears. Um, but it is going to help with that signal to noise ratio. And it means that you don't have to crank your dials all the way up because once you crank those dials all the way up you know increasing your gain you do introduce a bit of noise so by having the booster on there that does help in that regard so i think overall the sound is a little bit cleaner i think there's still a little bit of work that i can do on it just to make it sound a little bit softer it sounds perhaps a little bit harsh at the moment um, but i'm happy with this product so i'm going to keep it and it's going to get a big recommendation from me so basically if you're using an xlr microphone a dynamic microphone like this it's a good buy if you're having trouble hitting those volume ranges because 
I know, you know, like I said, I was having to crank the gain right up on all the videos and it didn't didn't sound awful, but it didn't sound good either. So hopefully this is going to be something that increases the sound quality and for, you know, less than 30 quid, I think that's a fair price versus spending 140 quid on like a cloud lifter or something like that, which is also a really good device. It's just why buy that when you can get something much cheaper that does the same job so hopefully you like that video if you've got any more questions chuck them down in the comments just remember i'm not an audio engineer this is just my personal experience but i love to see your comments your thoughts your opinions as always hopefully catch you in the next video Bye bye